The Mercedes-Benz GOE class is a mid-sized luxury SUV manufactured by the German automaker Mercedes-Benz. It was first introduced back in April 2015 at the New York International Auto Show. The newly adopted GOE class was built to replace the formerly well-known ML class, and better yet, it comes in two different flavors. The standard SUV style GLE, which is a newly refreshed mid-cycle of the ML class, and the newly designed GLE Coupe, which offer a bold and aggressive body styling that will be a direct competitor to the BMW X6. Now, the one I have here today is of course the new 2016 Mercedes-Benz GLE 450 AMG Coupe, dressed beautifully in polo white. The entire GLE class lineup comes with a brand new front fascia, which is sportier than the previous ML class. It is very slick and attractive from every angle, not to mention the powerful engine under the hood. It delivers 362 horsepower and 382 pound-feet of torque, which make it a lot faster than the previous ML class. And if that is not enough power for you, there is a more powerful version, which is the GLE 63 AMG that delivers 577 horsepower. So you do have plenty of choices to pick from. Hey guys, I have here the 2016 BMW X6 xDrive 35i in Alpine white with the uh, M Sport package. The BMW X6 is a mid-sized luxury crossover SUV offering seating for 5 passengers. The first generation was released for sales in April 2008 for the 2009 model year. The X6 was marketed as a sport activity coupe by BMW. It combines the attribute of an SUV with high ground clearance all-wheel drive and an all-weather ability, large wheel and tires, with the stance of a coupe featuring a sloping roofline. It was based on the previous generation BMW 5 and 6 series. The BMW X6 is a direct competitor to the newly released Mercedes GLE 450 coupe. Under the hood, it features a 3-liter BMW twin power turbo under engine, boasting 300 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. The X6 comes in three different trims level, starting out with the S-Drive 35i, which is the uh, rear-wheel drive. The X-Drive 35i, which is what I have here today, is the all-wheel drive version. Next up is the X-Drive 50i, which gives you a significant increase in horsepower of 445 horsepower. Now, there is also a high-performance version of the X6, which is the X6M, which pushes out an enormous amount of power with 567 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the pair of active full LED headlamps with integrated LED daytime running lamp. The active full LED headlamps in the GLE 450 also feature active curve illumination and adaptive high beam assist, which continuously vary the beam pattern of the multiple LEDs in each headlamp to help maximize the illumination of corners and straightaway without creating glare for other driver. And here is a closer look at the grille. The front camera is also located under the Mercedes-Benz logo. Very aggressive front end. Air vents are also located on the hood, one on each side for air to pass through. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. This particular model comes with 21-inch AMG twin 5-spoke alloy wheels with shimmering silver faces that are set off by gloss black inlay with 275-45 Continental tires. Behind the wheel is the set of cross-drill brake discs with silver painted brake caliber with Mercedes-Benz lettering on it. AMG badge on each fender Gloss black side view mirrors with integrated LED turn signal indicator. Side camera are also integrated into the side view mirror. And there is the brushed aluminum running boards to ease your entry and exit. It is an optional feature. On top is the large panorama sunroof that can be tilted or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 21 inches and it is stacked in width with 31540 all season tires. It also comes with adaptive braking technology, anti-lock braking system, as well as brake assist. 
tire monitoring system are also equipped on all four tires. To the back, you see the full LED tail light with integrated LED brake light and LED turn signal light. Very stylish tail light. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser with chrome accent strip running across the bottom portion that frame the dual chrome tip exhaust. Park assists are also built into the rear bumper. And there is the rear deck spoiler with chrome strip that runs across the trunk lid. Rear view camera is located behind the Mercedes Benz logo and it will retract once the vehicle is in reverse. Up front, the X6 comes with the Xenon adaptive headlight with dynamic auto leveling, corona headlight rings, cornering light, as well as daytime running light. Very cool looking headlight. A pair of LED fog lights are also standard on the X6 high intensity retractable headlight washer as well as park assist are also built into the front bumper and at the bottom is the aerodynamic lower front bumper which gives the X6 a very aggressive stance and here is a closer look at the BMW double kidney grille with chrome accents around it and there is the front surround camera it also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers and there's the cornering light on the side. Now this particular model comes with the upgraded 19 inch M light alloy wheels with run flat performance tires. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated brake discs with the silver painted brake caliber. And there's the specific X6 fender. X Drive 35i badge on the door, body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator, side surround camera are also integrated into the side mirror. On top is the sunroof that can be tilted up or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 20 inches and come stacked in width with run flat performance tire as well. Behind the rear wheel is also the internally ventilated brake disc as well as the brake caliber painted in silver. It also comes with anti-lock braking system, dynamic stability control including brake fade compensation, start-off assistant, brake drain and brake standby feature with M dynamic mode. To the back, the first thing you will notice is the LED tail light. Integrated into the tail light is the LED brake light as well as the LED turn signal light. LED tail light illuminate faster and help alert driver behind quicker to prevent possible accident. And there's the X6 badge on the trunk lid. At the bottom is the aerodynamic rear diffuser that frame the dual chrome tip exhaust. Rear deflector as well as park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper. And here's a closer look at the exhaust tip. Rear view camera is located right above the license plate and will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. And there's the uh, third LED brake light on top. Okay, here I have the remote. On the remote, I have the panic, lock, Mercedes Benz logo, unlock, and trunk release. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. The car does come equipped with smart access key system, so with the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. And as you can see, side view mirror will automatically fold once the vehicle is locked. And just place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. And as you can see again, the side view mirror will automatically unfold. The exterior color is known as polar white featuring ginger beige and black MB text interior with premium wood trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. Looks very classy and elegant.
Now let's jump into the vehicle, start it up, and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, push the start button to start. Now let's put the vehicle in sport mode, and we'll see how it sounds. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 GOE 450 have to offer. Under the hood is a 3 liter bi turbo V6 engine with direct fuel injection, 9 speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter. AMG Performance Formatic All-Wheel Drive System with Eco Start and Stop System as well as Dynamic Select Controller pushing out 362 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque can hit from 0 to 60 in about 5.6 seconds top speed is electronically limited at 155 miles per hour in the US EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 17 CD, 23 highway and 20 combined very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Okay, here I have the remote with M Sport color on the side. On the remote, I have the unlock, lock, trunk release, as well as panic button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. Now the car does come equipped with a smart access key system, so with the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as Alpine White, featuring a full black leather interior with silver accenting trims and premium dark wood trims throughout. Very nice looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So to start the vehicle, just put your foot on the brake and push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 BMW X6 have to offer. Under the hood is a 3 liter BMW twin power turbo inline 6 cylinder. 24 valve combines a twin scroll turbocharger with variable valve control double vanos and Vaftronic and high precision direct injection, 8-speed sport automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode, steering wheel mounted paddle shifter as well as launch control, all-wheel drive with auto start and stop function. It is pushing out 300 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in a fast 6 second. Top speed is electronically limited at 130 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 18 CD, 24 highway, and 20 combined. Very impressive engine.
Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with beige in the middle and premium wood trims. Three position memory seating, multi seat adjustment, door lock and unlock, Harman Kardon surround sound speaker, side view mirror control. It does feature folded option. All four windows are fully automatic. And here's the trunk release button, door storage compartment. Mercedes-Benz illuminated door seal and there's the aluminum pedals and a closer look at the seat it is perforated and does offer heated option both front seats feature 14-way power sport front seat with memory and 4-way power lumbar support a memory system for each front seat recall three stall position with one touch of a button. The driver seat memory also includes power steering column as well as side mirror positions. The three spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with perforated side grip. Looks and feels very nice. It also comes with uh, silver accenting trims in the middle featuring multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. To the left you have the windshield wiper controlled and the turn signal light controlled. To the right you have the gearbox lever. Just push it up for reversed once you're in reverse, the backup camera will appear on the multimeter screen. And as you can see, you have the over the top camera and the rear back camera. Slightly down for neutral and down again for drive. And that's when you can use the paddle shifter to change gear. And press the P for park. Very easy to use. And here is a closer look at the instrument cluster. Over to the left you have the uh, driver side air vent with beautiful wood trims and aluminum trims. Behind the steering wheel you have the uh, cruise control. Steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column. And there's the light control as well as the rear fog light. Below you have the uh, hand parking brake. And a closer look at the dash. Now the GLE 450 AMG also comes upgraded with the uh, Harman Kardon surround sound system that's specifically engineered for the GLE. This premium digital sound system fills the cabin with 830 watts of beautifully balanced audio. And as you can see, the GOE class has a very spacious and open feeling cabin. Okay, now looking at the center stack, you see the large multimedia screen with beautiful gloss black trims and aluminum trims in metal. In the uh, center, you have the uh, multimedia control with telephone keypad on the right, on and off, and volume control in the middle, and different sources on the left, as well as the telephone button. SD card, heated seats button, traction on and off, emergency has a light, echo start and stop, parking sensor on and off. Down here you have the full climate controlled storage compartment, ashtray and cigarette lighter, dual cup holder for the front passenger. Okay, now looking at the center console, you have your suspension setting.
and here you have your different driving mode you can just turn the knob around to move around looks like you have the uh, slippery mode for wet condition, comfort, sport, sport plus as well as the individual mode where you can set different settings for each uh, driver and here's the uh, command system with touchpad controller which feature an 8 inch freestanding screen vividly present audio, optional navigation and other features while keeping a sleek dash profile now you can just use your finger to uh, swipe onto the touchpad controller to move around screen or you can also press it down to select and also you can uh, use the alternative uh, round knob you can turn it around to move around screen you can also press it down to select and as you can see the system is very responsive here you have the center storage compartment uh, look like you have two USB plugged again beautiful wood trims on the dash and there you have these uh, glove box compartment and another look at these uh, front seat very nice upholstery material as you can see alright on top look like you have the light controlled That's the light for the rear. And you also have the one touch button for the sunshade, as well as the one touch button for tilt and uh, slide open panorama sunroof. A very nice feature to have. Now I'm going to go outside and uh, show you how it looks from the outside. So that is how it look. There you also have the uh, sunglasses holder. And the SOS system to uh, use in case of an emergency rear view mirror with three button universal garage door opener so here's a look at the driver side door panel it is all black with beautiful uh, aluminum trims as well as premium wood trims all four windows are fully automatic and there you have the side view mirror controlled and it does feature folded option It also features blind spot monitoring system and there you have the lock and unlock there's the Harman Kardon uh, surround sound speaker and there's another one there you also have the trunk release button door storage compartment as well as a cup holder M Sport aluminum door seal and there's the pedal So here's a closer look at the seat. Now both front seat does feature a three stage heated seat as well as ventilated option. Both front seat feature 20 way power adjustable front seat including 4 way power lumbar support and a memory system for driver seat, steering wheel as well as outside mirror. Driver seat also include two position memory system. The three spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with silver accenting trims in the middle. Looks and feels very sporty. It also features multi function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel, you have the up and down paddle shifter. 
so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride and there you have the windshield wiper controlled to the left you have the turn signal light controlled and here's the instrument cluster it is all digital steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column and it also features heated option over to the left you have the driver side air vent with beautiful wood trims and beneath that you have the light controlled as well as the instrument light controlled here's the storage compartment down there you have the hood release lever okay so here's a closer look at the dash featuring a full color heads up display unit that project important information directly in front of the uh, driver now this particular model also comes upgraded with the Harman Kardon high-end surround sound system the system features high quality surround sound thanks to the 16 actively speaker located throughout the interior pushing out a total of 600 watts of beautifully balanced audio and here's the large multimedia screen located centrally on the dash it is not touchscreen and you can use the controller located on the uh, center console to control the uh, infotainment system you can push it up right down or left or push down to select and scroll around to move around screen and the system is very responsive as you can see very nice sound quality above the knob you have your different sources button navigation and you can also use the knob to zoom in and out very fast system here you have the uh, emergency hazard light and there you have the button with the uh, green circle that's the button for the uh, detection warning feature like blind spot detection, frontal collision uh, warning or lane departure warning down here you have the uh, full zone climate control and here's the multimedia control here you have uh, ashtray as well as a uh, cigarette lighter and two cup holders here's the gear shift lever now to put it into reverse just press the unlock and push up to get into reverse and as you can see side uh, rear view mirror will automatically uh, show on the multimeter screen with guidance line and you can also press the camera button to change uh, two different cameras and push it down for neutral and down again for drive and over to the left for manual or sport mode and that's when you can push it up or down to change gear or use the uh, pedal shifter as well so very simple to use and just press the P for park now next to the gear lever you have the traction on and off different driving mode, park assist, camera as well as the uh, parking brake center storage compartment with USB and auxiliary input that's another look at the dash with beautiful wood trims glove box compartment and a closer look at the seat once again very nice upholstery material Now on top you have the SOS button to uh, use in case of an emergency and the light controlled and here you have the one touch open close and tilt uh, sunroof
there you have the sunglasses holder rear view mirror with integrated uh, three button universal garage door opener and here's the sun visor mirror with a card holder okay here's a look at the rear seat look like rear seat offer seating for three looks like it does offer uh, plenty of leg room and here's the rear driver side door panel it also have uh, beautiful wood trims automatic window door storage compartment aluminum door sill now let's jump into the back seat and see how it feels in the back but uh, let me show you the look to the front cabin first very elegant looking cabins and here's a look to the top rear passenger can also enjoy the uh, large panorama sunroof alright I'm 5'8 and this is how much leg room I have left so pretty spacious and plenty of leg room in the back there you have the seat pocket down here you have dual side air vent for rear passenger storage compartment as well as a 12 volt power plug alright here's a look to the top you have your light and uh, a hook to hang your clothes on one on each side here you have the center armrest with two cup holders Overall, I'm very pleased and comfortable in the back. And here's a look to the rear trunk. Alright, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk in the GOE 450 have to offer. So the trunk in the GOE 450 offer 23 cubic feet of cargo space behind the second row seat. And it does feature 60 40 split folded option. On the side, you have more storage compartment. There, you have your first A kit. And let's see what we have down here. Like, you have your spare tires and your tool. And there is another 12 volt power plug for the back. Alright, so uh, you can fold down the seat rear seat into 60 or 40 split and this is how it look with one side folded down so with the second row seat folded down you get 60.7 cubic feet of uh, cargo space that is plenty of space for your cargo needs one touch close button gas cap is located on the passenger side just push it in to unlock to open and it does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 24 gallons of fuel overall the 2016 GOE 450 is a mid-size luxury SUV with seating for five passenger second row seat is very spacious and can fit almost any size adult comfortably The front cabins are also very spacious. It offers a very generous amount of space for anyone to be really comfortable, even on a long road trip. Not to mention the great leather upholstery material that will add more comfort to your body. It also features premium wood trims and aluminum trims throughout the cabin. Now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. So as you can see, that is how much leg room I have and I'm very comfortable sitting in the front. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at the rear seat. 
rear seats offer seating for three and it does offer plenty of leg room as well as head room as you can see the uh, rear seats also feature a uh, folded option you can fold it into 40 20 or 40 split for your convenience and here's a look at the rear driver side door panel with beautiful aluminum trims as well as wood trim rear windows are also automatic and there you have the storage compartment on the door as well as a cup holder here you also have the M Sport aluminum door seal now let's get into the uh, rear seat and see how it is in the rear but first let me show you the look to the front cabin and here's the look to the top down here you have uh, two air vent as well as a uh, full zone climate control for the rear here you have the uh, cigarette lighter okay so I'm 5'8 and I have plenty of leg room left and that's with the seat all the way back you also have a seat of rear seat pocket rear seats are very well padded and very comfortable here you have the center armrest with two cup holders and storage compartment here's the look to the back on top you have the uh, hook to hang your clothes and the light control above your head also have a little uh, storage there so to fold down the rear seat just pull the lever located on top on the side of the seat to fold it down very spacious once the uh, rear seats are folded so to pop the trunk open you can either uh, push a button located on the uh, trunk lid or you can also use the button located on the uh, driver side door panel to open it, the trunk so the trunk in the BMW X6 offer 26.6 cubic feet of cargo space with the rear seat up and with the rear seat folded you get a total of 59.7 cubic feet of cargo space which is plenty of cargo space for your need and keep in mind that you can fold down the rear seat into many different configurations if needed and there you also have the uh, privacy panel to cover your uh, personal item when the trunk is closed very convenient feature there you also have the uh, 12 volt power plug and the fuse box also have a hook there down here you have your tools and more storage compartment one touch close So gas cap is located on the passenger side and it does require premium fuel only and holds approximately 22.4 gallons of fuel. Overall the 2016 BMW X6 is a sport activity vehicle which offer both luxurious and performance. Leg room as well as headroom will be fairly reasonable for any average size adult to be comfortable even on a long road trip. The front cabin are very spacious and offer very high quality upholstery material with nicely aluminum trims as well as wood trims throughout. Not to mention the large multimedia screen and the multi contour front seat. Guarantee you will be very comfortable in the front. Now let's get into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. So very comfortable as I mentioned earlier. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2016 BMW X6 video. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time. So as usual, here's a little uh, short clip to show you how it's like sitting on the uh, driver's seat. It is very smooth 
and you do get that uh, sporty feeling in the X6 as well. 